so the story of this place is that in the 1970s or 80s a developer came down from Tokyo um, wanted to make uh, wanted to get into the uh, tourism market of Okinawa so he came up with the idea to build this resort um, but what he failed to do was his due diligence he didn't listen to the recommendations of the local monks there are a number of as we've seen very spooky caves uh, and uh, uh, burial sites in the grounds uh, where this resort is okay um, the developer failed to heed the advice and requests of the monks not to build he went ahead and started to build on his site but as time went by his fortunes kind of changed uh, he started to lose money so he sold his house he sold everything he owned so that he could continue building um, and that included also moving into the resort whilst it was being built and whilst it was being built unfortunately it was beset by a few accidents where workers actually died um, on site and uh, over time uh, the guy started to lose his mind started to go a bit insane started to act very erratic and then one day we was gone nobody ever saw him again and uh, the local story the folklore is that he actually committed suicide and that to this day his ghost and the ghosts of those who perished during the construction of this site still remain in the location and from time to time can be seen and heard coursing around the corridors throughout the site okay well this is definitely a bit spooky uh, I'm going to be shooting mainly uh, HDR in certain areas around the resort um, but there's one particular shot that I'm going to use ND filters uh, and in order to get that I need to head to the roof So this particular shot because we've got broken clouds and I think it's going to look pretty awesome in black and white what I'm going to do is a very super wide angle shot up on top of this roof here and just looking up this sweeping vision of the main structure here with hopefully the clouds which are moving at a pretty good clip right well I've got my um, Kenny filter holder on my Irix lens okay I'm going to be using two filters on this first shot um, just want to see how we get on I've got a soft grad uh, 0.9 density and I'm going to be throwing on an ND1000 10 stop NDR uh, with the way the clouds are moving right now I think we should be uh, we should get some good results I'm going to get set up I'm going to take a shot actually from here okay uh, just to get a shot in the bag it's going to look pretty damn spooky I know that but the, the shot that the the real shot is that long sweeping roof. Hopefully we'll change position in a minute and be able to get that. I've changed my composition a little bit. I've shifted back uh, just to get more of this foreground uh, interest element into it. Um, it's just like the, the superior part of a beam, but there's some rusted um, bits of rebar sticking up through it it just adds itself lends itself well to the whole uh, deserted kind of uh, structure theme um, i changed a little bit my settings i'm on now on f22 um, iso 100 using an nd 1000 and a soft grad i, I closed the aperture even more uh, because the, the clouds started to break up and we started to get a little bit more sun uh, and because i wanted to get that super extended shutter speed um, I simply just close down the aperture. Okay. Um, one minute forty seconds. Here we go.
better if I leave that here. Just a little bit crazy this morning. <laughs> I ran until I got to my van. But uh, I wanted to end the day on a high note. So um, what I've done, I'm coming out to one of Okinawa's most uh, prominent landmarks, as it were, and that is the Zampa Lighthouse. What I'm hoping to do, or what I aim to do, is um, stacked ND filter shot just at um, dusk in order to get a super long exposure we've got awesome clouds in the sky uh, and with that kind of exposure we should get a really dynamic shot uh, with the lighthouse as one of the central elements of that of that composition so um, looking forward to that and we'll be there very shortly the uh, Cape Zampa uh, lighthouse which is just over here uh, it sits on a huge tract of land and what a lot of people do when they come here is they try to get as close as possible to the lighthouse to take an image now, all fine and good if that's what you want awesome the problem with that is that there's also a million and one other people trying to get the same shot There is another composition here um, and what we need to do is walk along the coastline a little bit. We're going to distance ourselves from the lighthouse but what you will see and I hope that you agree with is that the view is absolutely astonishing. Hey guys, there's my view for today. The Zampa lighthouse off in the distance. Um, now, I'm, I'm sorry if you're going to be picking up a bit of wind. Um, I've uh, basically lost the fluffy bit of the mic, so uh, the muffler. I'm trying to shield it as much as possible. Back to the IRIX, awesome. I'm using the 95 uh, millimeter adapter ring for the canny filter, which is also in place. And what I've also done is I've now placed uh, enough slider trays in the filter holder to carry three filters. What I'm planning to do is to shoot with three filters, three canny filters. The first one is what is called a reverse grad, uh, and that's ideal for sunsets when you've got a direct sun right on the horizon line, as we're going to have this, it looks like this evening, and very clearly as well. In the middle slot, because I've got three slots available to me, in the middle slot, I'm going to place a three stop ND filter, um, an ND8 okay and closest to the camera is going to be a an nd64 or a six stop uh, filter well we thought we were going to get uh, an awesome sunset the clouds just in the last couple of minutes they just decided to disappear um, but we have got a really nice composition we're going to go for a, a five minute and 20 second exposure Okay, so five minutes and 
20 seconds. We're good to go. Let's put that away in my holder so we don't get blown around. Not that we've got too much wind. It's actually quite pleasant tonight. So all I need to do now is simply start the motion. Off we go to the races. And now, let's see what gives with a 5 minutes and 20 seconds shudder.